Hey everyone, in light of all the craziness that's surrounding the stock market with regards to Wall Street bets and GameStop, I decided to take a quick break and get back to the simple things in life like discrediting biased Tesla news. So we're going to do just that. The article is coming out of Yahoo Finance and it's titled, Tesla Cybertruck loses out to Ford F-150 in Cox survey of US pickup truck buyers. Now the title might give you the impression that, uh oh, that sounds really serious, until you actually read the article and the survey it references, and then realize the title clickbait is still working. The important fact which the headline leaves out is what the survey is actually about, you know, some critical information. So let's look at what the survey actually shows us. It's a poll that asks, how appealing do you find this vehicle? And it's between a Ford, Hummer EV, Rivian, and a Cybertruck. And then the participants were shown pictures of each truck, but the logos and model indicators, and most important, the specs, they were all hidden from the participants. So this was only judging on looks, and that's fine. It doesn't surprise me at all that the Cybertruck came in last on looks. I happen to like the way it looks, but I agree that it does look pretty weird. But the point that evades the survey and the title of the article is the specs. And what I find absolutely hilarious is that they say in the article, price, performance, design, and size matter the most to potential EV truck customers, while the brand name and work use were the least important. And so while they admit that price and performance are the most important, which I would agree that they are, the survey doesn't cover those aspects. And I guarantee if they would have put the specs next to each truck and then asked, which truck do you want to buy, the answers would be vastly different. Because here's the thing, if you isolate for just one variable, looks in this case, you'll get a specific answer and that's great but the problem is that people don't buy trucks solely and entirely because of the looks in fact I would argue that looks probably aren't even that important in the grand scheme of things if looks were the most important factor then nobody would be driving a Toyota Camry or Honda Civic around but seeing as those are two of the best-selling cars in America clearly looks aren't the most important thing there's nothing wrong with either of these two cars but they definitely aren't going to win any beauty pageants and if we look at the most most popular vehicles by sales numbers, it's overwhelmingly clear that people aren't making buying decisions solely on looks alone. Because the question really is, are looks more important than price and performance and every other major characteristic? The Cybertruck looks are designed in such a way that it's supposed to make the truck a better truck, which makes it a better actual work tool. It's more rugged, more rust resistant, cheaper and easier to produce, and the list goes on. So really the question should be, would you rather have a truck that performs better and is cheaper or a truck that looks subjectively cooler? And while some people will go with the one that they just like the way it looks to the detriment of price and performance, I think most people would make the more utilitarian approach and pick the better truck for things other than looks. I know I personally would. And it shows in this chart that Cox came out with, we can see that overall, looks is the sixth most important category. I'm surprised it's that high but even still, it falls well below price, performance, and all those sorts of things. But as we all could have guessed, price is king, and the Cybertruck, as far as I'm aware, has the best price of any electric truck by a mile. So using their own metrics, we could assume that actually, a much more useful survey would be using price and performance for these trucks, as those are what people care about most and impact buying decision most. And then you have other articles coming out like this one from Torque News, which is titled, Survey Reveals Ford F-150 Brand Recognition Makes It More Appealing Than Tesla Cybertruck and Other EV Competitors. And what I find absolutely hilarious about a title like that is on the survey, brand name ranked as the lowest factor of importance in the entire survey. So making the claim that brand name is what made the F-150 appealing to customers is actually the least supported claim you could make based on that data but here we are. To wrap things up, all the survey really showed is that on average, people don't like the looks of the Cybertruck compared to other more traditional looking electric trucks. And to be honest, I think that's something we were all aware of. But it also showed that people care much, much more about price and performance than they do looks. So with that in mind, titling the article without any mention of appearance, which is the reason why the Cybertruck lost in this survey, it seems misleading. It's like making a title that Usain Bolt lost a race, but then not mentioning in the title that actually the race was a swimming event. It's those crucial words that are left out that skew reality in such a meaningful way. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think about Yahoo Finance's headline in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.